This is going to be sort of an intermediate uh, vinyasa flow, but I am working with um, what I believe to be a handspring as well as kind of an irritated deltoid. So our flows are going to be modified. We're going to be doing a lot of work on forearms today, so it's kind of fun and creative. So to start, grab a block. You're going to want um, one or two blocks. You're going to want a strap for sure. And then I always like to have some um, gloves for my knees because the knees can hurt. So prop up and meet me on your mat. As you come to your mat, <clears throat> you come to a nice tall seated position, uh, either Virasana or Vajrasana. So either sit on top of your heels or move the fleshy parts of your calves out to the side and sit in between your heels. Either way, once you come into a neutral seated position, um, <coughs> gosh, excuse me. Lift up through the top, bleh, lift up through the crown of your head, lengthen your spine, and start to come into your breath. Start by noticing the warmth of your inhale and the coolness of your exhale. Because this is a vinyasa practice, we will be using the ujjayi breathing style throughout. If that is something that you are not familiar with, don't worry about it. If it is something you're, very, or you're able to do, go ahead and do it. So quick tutorial. It's about this nice throat constriction in your back of the throat, some people call it um, ocean breath. So you can make this noise, this constriction, it's almost like fogging a mirror on your exhale. You can do it with your mouth open, that's probably the easiest. Exhale with mouth closed would be intermediate. And then where you really want to be is to be able to bring the constriction and that ocean breath into your inhale and your exhale, creating an equal depth, tone, and texture. So. <coughs> I will lead us through this for one round and then we'll do a few rounds on our own. Inhale, mouth open, fog up a mirror. Inhale, fog. Inhale, mouth open, fog. Inhale, mouth closed, fog. Or putting your finger on your ear, you can hear it a little easier. Inhale, fog. Can you hear it? Inhale, fog. Inhale, fog. Now bring it into your inhale. Exhale. Go at your own pace. Soften your gaze, soften your jaw, lengthen up through the crown of your head. Imprint this cycle and sound and pace of your breath and try and come back to this same pacing intonation of dry breathing during our flow today. So if you're sitting on a block, go ahead and remove your block. <clears throat> We're just going to start to warm up in the body. So shift your hips to one side of your heels. I'm going to my right, not mirroring your knee. Walk your right hands, I'm sorry, walk your left hands out to the side and bring your right arm overhead. 
Inhale, lengthen, exhale, stretch a little bit deeper. Mm. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, stretch. Oh, really nice. Turn your chest towards the ground. Walk your fingers out in front of you. Squish with any little bugs you see on the floor. <laughs> oh, shift your hips over your feet to the left side. Walk your right hands out. Lift your left arm overhead. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold to the right. Stretch through the left side. Plug your left hip into the ground. Reach up out through your fingertips. Beautiful. Turn your chest towards the ground. Walk your fingertips forward. Oh, stretch your tailbone towards your heel. Extended child's pose. Maybe wiggle back and forth a little bit if that feels good. If not, walk your fingertips back up towards your knees. <clears throat> and roll over to uh, your side and come into a tabletop position. So from here, come back to sit on your ankles. If that has too much pressure on your knees, you can go ahead and grab a bolster um, and put it in between your calves and your tush. If it's too much on your ankles, you can put it underneath your ankles, but we're going to be here for a few cycles of breath to open up the bottoms of our feet. So make sure that you can do it uh, comfortably throughout your knee and your ankle joints. So try and dig in all 10 little toes into the ground oh, and sit back onto your heels. As you're doing this, bring your hands out in front of you, palms facing up and slowly Roll in to make little balls. Out, jazz hands, hiss in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Nice. <clears throat> Remove the bolster if you're using one. <coughs> Come to your hands or your fists. Wiggle out your feet. <clears throat> and then um, I'm going to take off my rings really quickly. Place your hands flat on the floor and just start to warm up. Ooh, little bugs everywhere, huh? And then just start to warm up your wrists. Peel the palms of your wrists off the floor. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five. Try and keep your index fingers plugged into the bar. Four, ten. Okay. Gosh, my neck is so gross and dirty from my dog. Oh, there's bugs everywhere. Okay, come into a tabletop position. I'm going to use fists if you're using regular hands. Root down through all four corners of your feet. Let's start with some cat cows. Inhale. Oh, stretch your chest forward. Feel the stretch in your tummy. Exhale, round up through your back. Cat. Inhale. Reach your head and your sitting bones to the sky. Exhale, push into your hands, knees, and feet. And round your back up to the sky. Oh. Inhale. Exhale. <clears throat> if you need to put something under your knees to help yourself out, go ahead and do so. Then raise your right arm. Raise your left leg and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it in for a crunch. 2, 3, 
Keep your uh, shoulders stacking over your hand, your hip stacking over your knee in terms of your foundation. Okay, right hand down, <coughs> left knee down, right leg up, left leg up, pulse. Great, reach out for length. Inhale, exhale, curl in. Inhale out, reach out through the uh, heel. Three shots of your heel and the tips of your fingers. Inhale in. Great. Reset in tabletop. Wiggle out your hips. Whatever you need to do. Get rid of the pillow and come to stand at the top of your mat. Do a few rounds of Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A. Root into your feet. Lift up the inner arches of your feet as you squeeze your outer ankles in. Roll your inner thighs back as you lengthen your tailbone down. Soften your floating ribs back towards your spine as you widen your collarbones and lift your chin up as you lengthen out through the top of your head. Come back to your ujjayi breath. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, soft knees, hinge forward at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, reach up and out with your head, plug your shoulder blades onto your back, bend your knees to place your hands and roll down to your forearms as you step back low lunge. In low lunge, shoulder blades are on your back, collarbones are wide. Squeeze your inner and outer thighs together to hold your pelvis. Exhale, lower down to the floor. Inhale, reach your chest forward and up. Keep your Elbows on the ground, directly below your shoulders. Sphinx pose. Exhale, ground the tops of your feet into the ground. Engage your core, scoop your belly button towards your spine, lift your hips off the floor, lift your knees, flip your feet, walk forward, Puppy pose. Root into your hands, forearms, elbows, and toes. Bend your knees. Slowly work to straighten your legs and let your heels come towards the floor. Walk it out. Reset your feet to hips distance apart and parallel. Look towards the ground, towards your hand, shift your body weight forward slowly, walk back up to hands, walk your feet forward, come into forward fold, well, no, I'm sorry, come into halfway lift, exhale forward fold, inhale, arms overhead, Exhale, arms by our sides. So I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit now that we kind of have an understanding of this modified Surya Namaskar A. Okay. 
Ujjayi breath, reconnect. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forearm plank. Lower. Inhale. Push into your elbows. Engage your core. Plug your pelvis into the floor. Sphinx. Exhale. Root into your hands and your feet. Lift your hips. Flip your toes. Find puppy. <sighs> Tailbone reaching up towards the sky. Spine long and beautiful. Head not touching the floor. Bend your knees, look forward, shift your weight forward, come to hands, walk your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forearm plank. Lower to the ground, inhale, sphinx. Exhale, downward facing dog, or no. <laughs> Exhale, puppy. <laughs> Exhale, look it to your hands, bend your knees. Come up to your hands, walk your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to Tadasana. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back and pivot your heel down to find warrior two stance. Let's switch around really quick. Okay. Root into your feet, spiral your arms up to find warrior two. Here, reset your feet. Push your back foot back a little bit further to come into a 90 degree angle. Your back foot toes are slightly forward. You want to create a straight line from this hip point down through this knee, through that ankle, with the toes in alignment. Front knee at a 90 degree angle. Now wrap this inner thigh down and lengthen your left sitting bone. Raise your arms to shoulder height. Inhale, lengthen up through all four sides of your waist. Exhale, side angle pose. Hand to the inside of your foot, either to the ground, to a block, hand to the outside of your foot, uh, elbow to knee. If your elbow is on your knee, actually for any of them, don't just chill. Don't be like, yo, I'm chilling. <laughs> ground and lift up out of your side body. Root into your feet, inhale, warrior two. Uh, gently lower your right arm to the back of your right leg and lift your left arm to the sky. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, sit back into your legs. 
Now let's flow between the two. Inhale. Exhale. Reconnect with your Ujjayi breath. After your next reverse warrior, come back to warrior two. Place your hands on either side of your left foot. Pivot onto the sole of your right. Switch back around. <clears throat> hands into the ground. Lower your right knee to the ground. Step your left knee back so that you're uh, in a tabletop like position. And then step your right foot forward. Uh, place your left toes into the ground, power up your left foot, and then turn your left foot so that it's parallel with the shortage of your mat, and your right heel is bisecting your left foot. Warrior two on the other side. Okay. <clears throat> Again, set up this hip, knee, ankle relationship really safely. And then squeeze and roll the inner thigh in. Lengthen the sitting bone down. And raise your arms to shoulder height. Inhale. Reach up through all four sides of your waist and keep that length as you tip forward to side ankle. Again, use a bra, a prop as needed to create really nice, beautiful lift through the side body and angle from the top of your fingers all the way down to your foot. Inhale, stand to warrior two, reach your left arm towards the back of your left leg, right arm to the sky. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to reach, and sit lower into your legs. Now flow. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, reverse warrior. Connect with your ujjayi breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. Going to turn your toes towards the long edge of your mat. Move any props that might be in your way. <clears throat> Wide-legged stance. Toes are pointed towards the outer edge. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, cross your arms in front of you. Inhale, arms overhead. Cross your arms. Exhale, arms in front of you. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale, arms below you. Inhale, arms overhead, reach up to the sky, look to the sky. Bend your elbows and your knees and sit down into goddess pose. Okay, in goddess pose, pull your knees back and shift your hips forward. Then stack your pelvis and your bowling ball of the head on top of your hips. So I'm looking in my mirror right now. It's tough. <sighs> Inhale, rise up. Come back to the front of your mat. Hmm. <sighs> Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to <laughs> forearm plank. Hold for one breath. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale, sphinx. Exhale, puppy dog. Inhale, 
lower your left knee, place your right foot in between your right hands and come up into your low lunge. So walk your hands up to your top knee and then push into your big toe, ground your foot and then pull this entire bone and muscle, femur, femur bone and leg muscle into your hip joint. Place your hands on your hips and see if, are you sideways? Bring your hips back into neutral and parallel alignment. Okay, good job, Leah. <laughs> now, take your binkies and reach them backwards towards your back heel. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, squeeze your palms together. Inhale, shine your heart forward. Exhale, squeeze your palms together. If you can, cross your hands. Inhale, shine your heart forward. Exhale, pull your hand towards your heel. Soften your front ribs into your spine. Great. Release the clasp if you have it. Hands to heart center. Power up your left leg. Come into high lunge. Reset your hips. If you need to, bend your back knee to pull your front hip back. Then straighten your back knee and sit into your front knee. Raise your arms overhead. Tilt your chest forward just a bit to create a nice extension through your lumbar spine. And then shine your heart forward. Inhale, reach up with your hands, drag your back toe forward, engage strongly into your right leg, root through all four corners of your feet, squeeze your thigh, your back leg, and tilt forward. If arms are a bit too much out in front of you, bring them down. Hanging, you can grab some blocks too for some additional sturdiness. Reach out through your heel, reach out through your fingertips, and create a parallel line with the floor. Inhale, rise up, Urdhva Hastasana. Arms overhead, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to your side. Kick it on out. <clears throat> Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step your right leg back, lower your knee to the ground. Low lunge on the other leg. Check back in. Okay. Nice, neutral, and even. Low lunge. Reach your fingertips behind you. Inhale, shine your heart forward. Exhale, squeeze your hands together. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, squeeze your hands. Clasp them. Change the interlace if you're clasping again. Inhale, shine forward. Exhale, lengthen your hands to your heel. Gently release the clasp if you have it. Hands back to heart center. Dig your back toes into the ground. Come up to high lunge. Reset hips, feet. Whatever you need to do. Feet are hips distance apart and parallel. Left foot grounding into the ground. Left knee stacking over ankle at a 90 degree. 
pull your left femur into your hip and lengthen that tailbone down. Shine your right inner thigh up to the sky. Tilt forward gently. Raise your arms overhead next to your ears. Plug your floating ribs into your spine as you widen your collarbones and then shine your heart forward. Inhale, reach up, drag your back toe forward. Lengthen up through all four sides of your waist. Engage your standing leg. Turn that inner thigh towards the back of your mat. And create a parallel line with your chest and your lifted leg. Tilt your lifted leg's hip back towards the ground. Inhale, rise up to Tadasana. And wiggle it all out. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Bring your feet together as close as they come. If they do come all the way together, toes touch. Gentle little space in between them. Send your hips back. Bend your knees, lift your chest, and find your pose. Hands at heart for center. Squeeze your legs together. Send your inner thighs down as you lengthen your tailbone out. Inhale through all four sides of your waist. Lengthen out through your spine as you twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist further. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, start your twist to the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, long four sides of the waist. Exhale, twist. Squeeze your legs together. Make sure one knee isn't jutting out in front of each other. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead, Rupahasasana. Exhale, hands to your side, Tadasana. Reconnect with your breath. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hinge forward at your hips. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift to create a number seven with your body. Exhale, step back to forearm plank. Hold for one breath. Exhale, lower. Inhale, sphinx. Press into the tops of your feet and shins and pelvis. Exhale, hips up. Puppy. Inhale, back, left knee down, sorry. Right knee forward, find, um, finding lizard. Sorry about that, I forgot. <laughs> so your right foot isn't in between your hands, it's to the outside of your right hand. Walk your hands forward a little bit. Pull your right femur back into that hip, pull up with your hips, stack this hip over that knee, keep a long line out through the crown of your head. 
walk your hands forward. You can use blocks, come down to forearms, or you can come whoop, tilted <laughs> straight onto forearms, onto the floor. But the most important part is the line, the line again of your spine. Okay, from here, walk your right foot out all the way to the side of your mat. Turn your toes so that they're in the same direction as the diagonal of your front right corner. If you need, grab a block, I'll come with a block. Place your block equally as wide if you like or more under your shoulder. And start by pulling your back leg up. If that's not comfortable on your kneecap, grab a little pillow. Again, block, bring the ground higher up to you. If you can lift your back leg three to five times with ease, Awesome job. <laughs> Inhale, arm overhead, open up. So this is awkward pigeon with a twist. And now awkward pigeon with the thigh stretch. From here, you can deepen it, bring your arm out, flex, you know, that kind of thing. However, the purpose of this pose is to open and stretch your front right hip. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, once you've gotten your awkward vision out of the way, <laughs> come back, walk your foot back in between your hands. This time you definitely want both of your blocks nearby. Not like me, much closer. Anyways, Bring your hips back and straighten your front leg. Ardha Hanumanasana half split. So left hip stacking over left knee, right foot not hyperextending. Push into your front, big front toe mound and soften the back of your knee. Again, like always, pull your femur back into your hip joint. Nice neutral hips. Inhale, lengthen all four sides of the waist. Beautiful, lovely spine, and then fold. Nice, yummy stretch. Awesome. Flatten your foot back to the ground, other side. Come into a table type top leg position and bring your left foot outside your left hand, coming back to lizard pose. Squeeze your left knee to your left uh, elbow. That's what it is. <clears throat> Again, hip stacking over knee, pull femur back into hip, even hips out in space, and walk your hands forward. Ooh, gosh, this feels fantastic in my hips. <sighs> Come down to those forearms, eek. Each side of the body is different, so don't make them do the same thing. Prop and change and meet your body where it is. Rise back up onto hands. Wiggle your left foot out to the long edge of your mat. Point your left toes in the same diagonal line coming out from the left corner of your mat. <clears throat> Move one block off to the side. Reset your right hand, however, that's going to feel comfortable to you. Lean your hips forward. This is my hand that bothers me, so I'm just going to come straight to forearm. And see how that thigh stretch feels. Okay, that feels good. Inhale, lengthen out through all four sides of your waist, through your fingertips, and open your chest up to the side. Ah, 
Such a beautiful pose. <sighs> now, thigh stretch. Bring your foot in. Reach your hand back. Proprioception, it's like where is your body in space? Peek back if you need to, there it is. So here again, both sides of the body are different. This one doesn't feel great. So instead of forcing my body to do it, AKA Leah in her 20s, we prop now. <laughs> And we help ourselves and we have grace for ourselves and our bodies. Inhale the length and exhale the twist. Mm. Bend. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, my brain is like going left, right, crazy. Okay, left foot is your standing leg. Bend your right leg, bring your knees together. Reach for your right foot. Different sides, remember, your right is gonna be different from your left. If this is where your stability is max for the day, stay here. If this is solid, switch your grip, come inside of your uh, bent leg, inside ankle, and reach your hand overhead. Find stability for five breaths. And then lengthen your bent leg behind you. Once it reaches its max length, then kick it up. Remember, neutral hips. Come down as you need. Shake it out. Okay, second time. Grab your strap. Wrap your strap around your left foot. <clears throat> Come to stand in your right leg, right hand to right hip. Left um, foot to left tush, left elbow to left hip, that's key. Left elbow, left hip. Right arm overhead as left leg lengthens, left leg kicks, swing left elbow by ear, join right and left hands together and keep kicking. Gently come down, other side. <clears throat> Again, step inside your loop. You want the loop around your ankle. Bring your right foot to your right bum and your right elbow to your right hip, okay? Both sides aren't the same, don't expect them to be. <sighs> Belly button to spine, ground your foot into the ground. Suck up all the energy and power from the ground. Bring it into your body, reach your left arm overhead and lengthen your right foot behind you. Kick your foot up and bring your right elbow past your ear. Connect your right and left hands together. Press, focal point. Gently lower your knees, 
wide leg. Settle your bum onto your knees and come into extended child's pose. Push into your hands and walk your chest up. Swing your feet around in front of you. Mm. <sighs> Extend your right foot. Bring your left foot close up against your bum. Reach your right hand out. Wrap your left knee into your right elbow. Right hand to left outer thigh, left hand up into the air, lower it behind you, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Bring out this practice, what hard work. Inhale, lengthen, come back to center, Left hand to outer right thigh, right hand up into the air, lower behind you, open twist. Mm, God, I love those open twists. Extend your left leg, bring your right foot up into your heel. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> left arm wraps around right knee. So left inner elbow to right knee, left hand to right outer thigh, right arm up in the air. Exhale, gently place it behind you. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale. Back to center, exhale, right hand to left thigh, left hand up in the air, place gently behind you, inhale, exhale, twist. <sighs> inhale, back to center. Gently bring yourself down to your back, with your knees in a 90 degree position. Tee your arms and slowly lower your knees to the left to find a gentle recline twist. Keep your right shoulder blade on the floor and turn your head towards your right hand. Engage your belly, belly button to spine, squeeze your legs together, bring them back across center, exhale to your right. Gentle twist to your right. Oh, left shoulder plugged onto the ground as you change your gaze to the left. Mm. Squeeze your knees together, engage your core, bring your hips back up to center, and then open your hips wide, and either bring your hands to the outside of your feet, outside of your ankles, outside of your calves, and find dead bug, happy baby, really just some awesome opening through your sacrum, and slowly, make your way down into your Shavasana. Gently extending your legs, maybe placing a bolster under your knees or a block underneath each one of your thighs to really ground your lower back into the ground. Maybe you want to put something behind your head. But I encourage you to take a really wide shape. 
really expansive, expressive shape. We worked super hard today. And so let's imprint into our bodies. Inhale and exhale. Slowly find length on your exhaling breath. Let everything go in your body. Let your bones sink towards the floor. When we connect our breath with movement, we're taking the time, the opportunity, the moment to be fully present, not only with what we are physically doing, but what, like in our mind, but what our body is physically doing. The more centeredness and mindfulness that we can have in any given moment, particularly the ones where they might be chaotic or not nourishing. We can remember this space of quiet, peace, love, ease, and imperfection that exists within us that we find with a more easeful time when we're able to focus on our breath, connect our breath with our body, with letting go of tension, 
was creating movement to release any energetic blockages and to simply be our true selves in each moment. If you have the time to stay in this moment, to stay centered and connected to your breath and your body, I invite you to do so. If this is the end of the time that you have for your practice today, no judgment, no worries. Now is the time to gently come out of Savasana. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. You can do some little wiggles. I like to take a really big, nice overhead stretch. And then gently roll to your right side. And stay on your side for at least two nice cycles of breath. And then slowly, gently, in your own time, make your way back up to a seated position. When you get to your seated position, find a nice, tall, lovely, beautiful uh, spine and join me in just a few cycles of breath. Inhale. Exhale, sigh, let it go. Inhale. Sigh, let it go. Inhale. to prayer position at your heart. Gently bow your head. Acknowledge the inner light within you. Thank yourself for taking the time to show up for you and to roll out your mat and just be present. Thank you for sharing this practice with me. Namaste.